Can you scoot in a little bit? <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shayla. This is my husband, Wyatt. What's up, vlog? And the camera is like not. Today we're gonna be answering a couple's q and Can't look at the questions yet. Why? Because. We're gonna answer it. No, I know. Yesterday we tried to film this in the car. So yesterday we had quite the busy day, quite an emotional day, honestly. From, um, we had two events that we had to go to and we'll kind of leave it at that, but it was kind of an emotional day. So obviously we couldn't vlog during that day. So I thought we could just do a cute little couples Q and A vlog. First question we're gonna answer is, where do you see yourselves in five years? Probably with a dog and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what? In five years I'll be 30. So hopefully I'll have one baby by then. We'll see. Maybe a dog for sure. Probably I'd say we'd maybe have a kid in five years or she'll at least be pregnant. Hopefully, hopefully we won't have any complications. Next question. What's the weirdest thing you think the other one does or that they grew up doing? I'd have to say it's, I mean, it's, it's weird. There's nothing wrong with it, but whenever I'm around her family and her whole family's together, say Thanksgiving or something like that. And we're going to dinner 10 minutes down the road somewhere. If there's five people, they will take five separate cars. Everyone drives separately. No one rides together. And it makes zero sense to me. My family was the opposite. We would all pile in and just go together. Yeah, we just always took our own cars. I don't know. I don't really know why. Usually we just like let our parents ride together and then like two or three sisters would be in one car and then I don't know, I don't know, we just always did that. Um, I think it was more to just blast the kind of music that we wanted to listen to. But I, what I think is weird that he does and I know that he grew up doing because his mom can attest, him and his brother both are like very saucy. Like, that sounds weird. Sauces in all of their food. So if he orders like a chicken sandwich. He's gonna ask a, a side of mayonnaise, a side of ranch, a side of blue cheese, a side of Worcestershire sauce, a side of A1, a side of mustard, and he'll mix it all together and like make this concoction and it's disgusting. I am very like plain Jane with my sauces. Like I like ketchup, I like mustard, I like salsa. Like that's pretty much it. And for him, it's like, you should see our condiments in our fridge. Like I have never had any of these condiments in my fridge growing up. Like Frank's hot sauce, Frank's hot sauce, buffalo. Um, a, you have A1, you mm -hmm. put that in a lot of things. Yeah. Why do you do that? I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> I just like, I like mixing sauces. Come Barbecue up. and ketchup, he's done that. Come up with your own sauce. Okay, the next question is who's the better driver? Yeah, right. It's me for sure. No, it's not. Yes. Okay, because... go outside and take a look at her front right rim. And then <laughs> go look at my front right rim and tell me who the you better driver is. You have a truck. Is. It doesn't mean, it, that, that, that's not fair. He has a truck. So when I drive, I drive the speed limit. I've never got a ticket, fun fact. Never ever have gotten a speeding ticket or any kind of ticket in my life. How many tickets have you had, Wyatt? Probably like five, but. Oh, five, but most, most five. Of them, most of them have been on my way to see her in Houston. So really it's your fault. I dropped to Waco <laughs> every weekend when we did distance and never got one ticket. But he will like, He's the kind of driver, and girls, you can understand this, we'll be on the on the interstate, and we'll get this close to the car in front of us, and then he'll slam on his brakes. So I'm like, so I can't ever bring like a drink without a lid, and like drink it in his truck, because I know that I'm gonna spill it all over myself, because you're a brake slammer. You've got places okay. to go. <laughs> People to see, we can't be going five under. The next question, are you gonna go watch your sister compete in college? And I'm assuming you're meeting Emma. For sure. Yes, yeah. for sure. You know, like as me, McKenna, and Emma have basically worked our entire lives to be able to compete in collegiate athletics. And I think that it's super empowering and it's such an exciting time for Emma to have her first competition. And um, hopefully with COVID, everything's gonna be okay with the season. We just, it's one of those unknowns right now. Um, but if we can be there, we will definitely be there because I just watching Emma will be so cool. Yeah. But it's weird because she's, like the baby sister, like she should not be in college right now. Like she should be five forever. Why does Wyatt always seem annoyed by you vlogging? <laughs> I'm not annoyed by Shayla vlogging. Let's clear this up. 
I encourage her to vlog. He actually is the one that was like, you need to vlog. Like, why aren't you vlogging anymore? Yeah, when she stopped for a while, I wondered what was going on. So I encourage her to vlog. I'm not annoyed by it at all. And sorry if my personality doesn't amuse you. Savage. <laughs> a quick little disclaimer. This clip, I just wanted to clarify something so it doesn't seem like he's coming off as mean. This person that asked this question also asked horrible other hateful questions, also left comments talking about how Wyatt seems really boring and his personality was dull. And so I just kind of wanted to give him a chance to kind of talk and kind of stand up for himself a little bit just because this person was so mean. So I just wanted to clarify that before we get back into the Q and A? No, he's actually, he's my number one supporter and encourager when it comes to vlogging because I get really discouraged quite easily um, with comparison. It's so stupid when I say it out loud, but I do and he's just like- Sometimes I do get annoyed whenever she gets discouraged so easily. Yeah. But that's it. Because you which, shouldn't which, compare which, yourself to other people. We're all on our no, own journeys. Well, no, but I'm saying when she gets discouraged because of you know, something with her vlog or, you know. Like comparison. Yeah, comparison stuff, comparing her to other bloggers, herself to other bloggers, and she gets discouraged. That makes me a little bit annoyed, but I'm not annoyed by her vlogging. That's really sweet though that you get annoyed because you know that I love, like I have such a passion for this and I love to edit and I love to upload. And so, I don't know, he's just always the one that tells me to vlog actually um, behind the scenes. He might not be in a lot of them because he has a full-time job, um, but he definitely is, al you're always the one that's like, you gotta keep going. What's the hardest part about marriage slash the best part? So the worst and the best part, I guess, no, not worst. Oh, okay. I would say the hardest part about marriage, and I know that like every marriage is different, so like this isn't an all-encompassing hardest part. Um, and I wouldn't say it's the hardest part, I would just say it's a challenge, but we both come from you know, the way that we grew up, we're totally different people that come into a marriage together. And so learning kind of your roles in the marriage, like for instance, yard work, like who does the yard work? Or, you know, like my dad always did it growing up and you always did it in your family growing up. It's just weird, like cooking, who takes the cooking role? You know, my mom cooked dinner for us every single night. And so I kind of took that role upon myself. Chores, cleaning, and then uh, budgeting. Budgeting is another hard part. It's not hard, it's just a challenge. It's different, kind of working with somebody else and kind of, you know, he's definitely more frugal Fran than I am. And so learning how to spend and save together has definitely been a challenge, you know? Yeah, for sure. No, I, that's, that's good. I don't know if I can do better than that. <laughs> the best part about marriage um, to me would be that I have my best friend with me all the time. I live with him. I have sleepovers with him every single night. And he's just like always there. Like he's my rock, he's my supporter. If I have a cruddy day and I'm just not feeling good or I'm in a funk, um, you, you know how to help me through that. You know how to cheer me up or like how to walk me through that patch of my life. And like he did this last week. So <laughs> I go through a lot of patches in my life. He knows me better than anyone. So you know how to deal with me and you know how to um, make me feel better. I just love that. I just love having you here for me and with me all the time. So sweet. What about you? Uh, best part would have to be just being together, being able to build a life together and seeing the progress that takes place and you know, having support, constant support from Shayla, even when sometimes I, you know, I need a lot of, uh, Reassurance. Reassurance a lot of times with things that I that I try to make decisions about and things that I think like about buying doing. shoes. <laughs> that I mean, it, bigger things, bigger things than that. But it's nice having someone that you can always go to and someone that's always going to support you. So. I love you. Did you just burp and then kiss me? <laughs> I can't help it. I'm sorry. So that's all the questions we're gonna answer. Um, sorry, I'm rushing, my camera's about to die. But we love you guys, and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next vlog. See you, vlog. Bye.